Hello and welcome back to Nier. So, we last left our um, hideous hero, um, trying to g get some fish for his daughter. So anyway, we do have an extra quest around here, which is to pick up some bulbs. Uh, I have some tulip bulbs, I think they are. I don't come with who we buy them off. Is it her? Tulip bulbs. I think we need three. So we'll do that while we're here, because that's what we need for a quest. Thank you for shopping. Other stuff I don't really care about. Uh, if I remember right, oh, we've got him up because I didn't buy one. Duh. I think we need to go down here and talk to the old man up like here. Who's... Yeah, there he is. And we say hello and welcome to the one the quest that seemed to really get people annoyed the most about this game. Oh. So yeah, this is where you get taught how to fish. It says you can catch them on the beach. Now, you would think, right, you could argue this was the beach. I mean, this is obviously the pier, let's be honest. But you can say this is the beach. You gotta move your body away from where the fish is going, got it? Let me give you a lure on that. Fishing is a test of wills, yeah, yeah, thank you. It's also a test of patience in this game. It really does do a lot of people in, but these are the general instructions. So, yeah. The game does feel sorry for you, though. So, I mean, I mean, let's be honest, right? There is a huge red X on your map, which is not where you are. Now, there was a certain reviewer, who I'm not going to name and shame, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to remember who it was. But seriously, that's how little I think of the man. But he decided to fish here, and then say the game was broken, and then quit for his review, and say the game was bad. Now, basic reading comprehension gave you just there, the beach. So, with the beach, you'd assume you would head to the beach. Now, which is where we're going to go. Well, I never! you never seen a talking butch? Get out more, yeah? I've seen talking books all the time. It's like a normal thing in my local library, they yap to you. Also seals. Look at these guys, look how happy they are. They're just like sunbathing all day, look at him. Jump in the seal. Better not, you might be angry. What we will do, however, is pick up seaweed, because you never know where seaweed might be useful for one of the game's many, many terrible side quests. Many of the side quests are absolutely fabulous. On the other hand, many of the side quests are absolutely dire. So, we will pick up every bit of shit we can find for the time being, just in case. Most of which I don't need to bother with. Anyway, this is where you start fishing. And we go. This is where we need to catch our fish. It's not too hard, we gotta just... Move your body away from the fish, once you can actually catch the damn thing. There we go. Oh, stuffed it. Fear not, though, because if I do... Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, I know, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's near says, I know, alright, yeah. Like, to be fair, the game actually does it for you if you stuff this up enough, which is quite funny. This is where I pr I have not... I don't ever do the side quests for fishing this game. I'm not a massive fan of them, but there we go. We have to wait until... That was clearly a pull. My advice, no one asked your opinion. I hope you can see the line of the lore person. There we go. Now we bring the we move our body away from the fish. Like so. Fish runs out. We capture us a fish. Dink! That's what we're supposed to happen. That last shaming fish? Yeah! Now you of course you can, there is a nice side quest for this. Cool. There's a great side quest where you can actually do lots of fishing and stuff, which is kind of neat. But Seals! <laughs> he's rolling! He's rolling! Shoot him! Slay him with evil magic! He doesn't care. Oh, of course. Yeah, she's very tired. Now if we try and walk past... Hold it! Uh. Huh? I said hold it! Over here! What do you want, your old bag? How can you just ignore an old woman in need? Oh, I weep for this generation. The children of this age are nothing but selfish, heartless cads. Wait, are you talking about me? She is, yeah. No, ignore her. We have a quest to complete. I'm with Vicey. People like that are best left to their own devices. Oh! Oh! What's wrong? My illness has returned. It must have been the shock of seeing this rude floating book. Rude? This book? Now see here, madam, I'll have you. Know. <laughs> you I love voice. You did this. Oh, what a terrible thing you are. Why, you insolent crone. 
How dare you address me like some common paperback? Typically, Vice would get into a, a fight with an old woman. You know, this is how Vice goes. Easy, Vice. You there, boy! Would you truly abandon a pitiful old woman to this cruel world? Are you asking me? Oh, do please ask me. No, Vice, she's asking me. Yes, of course we accept. If you say no, it doesn't work. Oh, good heavens! I can't believe how much cajoling that took. You're welcome. I am at a loss as to what aid we could possibly give a woman who is so clearly able to talk her way into anything. Again, I'm with the book. I need you to go to the post office and tell them to deliver my mail. I can't fathom why they haven't been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. We'll go to the post office. Just stop saying things. And there you have it. So we go to the post office because we got talked into it. Luckily, we already know where that is. It is back here. Pardon me. You forgot your lunch. Of course, we could go around and talk to all the people, but. Eh. Maybe you. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Yes, she wants it very badly. Yes. For crying out loud. Guess what? Viewing letters. Of course we can read the letter. There we go, letter for Popla. Cool. Like I said, you can read the letters, which are under... Where are they under? Memo. Documents. There you go. Love letter. So if you want to read it, please feel free, stop the thing, it's there for you. Same with le Letter to Popola. And I will scroll down for you. There you are. Feel free to read. Alright. Mainly because we ain't, I can't stop the recording as easily. Um, that old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. You don't say. Now, as you can see, that's the lighthouse. Guess where we're going? Uh, this is a real pain in the ass. There's, there's a couple of the things in here that the game makes you do, which is... The lighthouse lady. Well, we'll go check the lighthouse. Yes, guys, we're well aware, thank you. But just in case you're not aware where the lighthouse is, the game now points it out to you. Maybe it's feeling sorry for, like, the whole beach thing and the fishing, you know, because some reviewers who will remain nameless, because they're idiots, of course, cannot do simple reading, which will allow them to go to the lighthouse. Because they're idiots. Yeah? We good? We good? We good? He wasn't good. He gave the game a bad score, because he couldn't fish. Ironic. Because the game actually takes pity on you eventually, anyway. Anyway. Welcome to the lighthouse. If you enjoy side quests, this is where you end up. A couple of times, at the very least. It's actually got quite a neat little side quest to it. Anyway. See, this is what I think Nier's house is like, but you can't see the stairs. It's the only thing that makes sense. Hello. See? I mean, Vice probably pointed that out. <laughs> Such an asshole, I love him. Such a rude book! Here you are. Oh, nice. Cheers. Now, as you can see, she got a love letter, which is very touching. But you do know what game we're playing, don't you, everyone? What was the thing about Nier? It's always miserable. Now, if you take that into account, if we do get to the side quest for that, you will see what I mean. Anyway, onwards. No one in there is allowed to be happy. This is the uh, good thing to remember. Yes, we do. Yeah, you know your daughter, who's ill. Hey, man, what are you looking at? Seals? Ah. No, oh, okay, fine. Alright then, now we go back to the daughter. And I think one of the super shades shows up soon as well. I can probably not do that, but I can certainly show you on my past. As you can see in these sections, the bloom effect is really... It, a lot of people don't like it, the bloom, in this game. They say it looks hideous. I think it really, really adds to it. I have to be honest. Like, it's just good. You run through a cave and suddenly the light is really bright and it's, it's kind of an... Yes, yes, we know. 
It's just it's a real aesthetic choice on their part, but I just think it really suits the game. And it makes a lot the bright sunlight is something to, of note, should we say, so. Which is why I like it. Anyway, more importantly, ball surfing! The only way to travel. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, there seems to be a distinct lack of shade activity this time. Instead I'll run over some deer. Ugh. Oops. There we are, this chap. Now, we can fight him. I might just do so. I believe he wants you to actually get caught by any of this stuff. He's very, very, he's a very burly man. So what we do, we run behind him and chop him a bit, and then roll out of the way. Like I said, one fluff up and you die as far as I'm aware. Have you got two? Right. Uh, if you want, fast forward for the next four minutes or so, because this is what it's going to be about. It's not a particularly difficult fight if you're actually sort of paying attention, I suppose. If you get too far away, you just start sending magic crap. Ooh. And someone actually mentioned about the combo meter making you attack fast, which is correct, true, but I should have brought that up instead of saying combo don't really enough. Which it does, that's not technically true. Combo does indeed make you attack fast, and on harder difficulties this is very important. So. But for the time being, there's nothing we particularly need to worry about. This guy also drops a word, I think, we do eventually kill him. Bear in mind I'm going to have to actually do this fairly skillfully. <laughs> not get hit! Duh! Welcome to the game over screen. I believe it dumps you um, out onto the field. As so. Alright then, uh, I gave it a shot. I'm not going to do it again. I'll do it again at a later date. Because he doesn't go anywhere, this guy. He sort of chills out and hangs around. I was hoping I could show you one go, but clearly I'm it, just too incompetent to pull it off on the first time. It's one of these things, like when I was playing um, Ikaruga the other day, or Karuga, however, however you want to pronounce it, where if. Smash. Where if you want to actually do something like that, where you've got to concentrate, you have to stop talking. And while trying to do commentary, while, while doing something skillful, it's not particularly easy. Ah, here we go, some chicken legs. Excuse me, chickens! Come through! Please don't be a medicinal herb. Ah, okay, I got berries instead. Anyway, we've got a quest we can hand in while we're at it, as well as go see Yona. I'll stop rolling, it's very annoying. Uh -huh. You're Max? I don't know a Max. What is Max? Oh, Max is your dog! Oh well, you could have said so. He went to the Northern Plains. Not to worry, sir, we will look for the dog. Since we're going to the Northern Plains soon anyway. Okay, don't worry, sir, we'll find your dog and bring him back to you. It's okay. Right, anyway, we have to go and hand him one of these quests. I can't remember who gave it to us, which is annoying. It's not you, is it? Hello. No, it's not. I can't remember who gave me this quest. here too? Ah, probably the person over here. Is it you? No, it can't be. Um. Oh. Hey, listen. No, I can't honestly listen remember who wants the shopping. Yes, yes, I know. You? Do you no. want it? Ah. Ah, there we go. Again, this is part of the farming side of it, which I'm not going to be doing uh, anytime soon because it's a real, real pain in the ass. There is an achievement for it that I've never actually bothered to go do, which is to grow one of the toughest plants in the game, which involves a lot of faffing around, which is the only problem with it. Hello. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a chicken egg thing. Again, don't really care. These, some of these side quests are pretty nonsensical. They're just there to get gold, and you don't particularly need that much gold anyway. Gold is great for certain things. Like, you need enough gold to get a certain weapon, um, at least in the first part. Uh, I don't. I can't remember how much gold I've got. items? Items? All items? No, it doesn't show my gold, whatever. More importantly, we've got a raw fish to sort of stuff down the daughter's throat. And I will check out my money trees, since they're bound to give me stuff. That's not money! Damn it, Nia, you need to change your plans over. How about this one? Sweet, money tree came through! I don't, know, I don't see why Nia has to work, personally, he just waits for this to grow every so often. Hello, daughter, how are you? Oh, she's not very well, that's unfortunate. Luckily, I have a fish I caught out of the ocean. It's not very big, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. One thing you can say for Nier, he really, really cares about his daughter. And it's, you know, it's nice to see. Hey, she feels better. 
Excellent, then it was worth catching a fish. Unlike you, Mr. Reviewer, who couldn't do that for your own daughter, you heartless swine. Never mind. That's fantastic, Yona. See, I was doing the gravelly voice for you. I need to go see to talk to Popola. Stay here. Alrighty. Now, if we talk to her again, this is quite funny. Oh, you're back. Do you have any venison or wheat? A deer, wheat, stew. Um, that sounds that sounds nice, Yona. <laughs> Basically, Yona cannot cook, and poor Nir has to uh, eat because you know he doesn't want to hurt his daughter's feelings. And we will accept the quest. Yona's home cooking. We will try and get her agreed at some point. Yeah, thank, thanks, Yona. That'd be great. Now, if we, uh, if we look at the quest, uh, quest, quest, quest. Yona's home cooking. We need venison and wheat. Venison's not hard to get. You can get it off the uh, what's it? Some wheat. We just want to find around. And we can, also, we can also buy wheat from either the village or the um, seafront where we were. It's no biggie. So we'll do that at some point. Food for a home cooked meal. Hmm? You got something to say? Oh no, 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 no! I have nothing at all. <laughs> I know Yona's not a four-star chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it, and I love her for it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of father do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? I guess not. Just, well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of conversations they get all the time, like I mentioned in the last set. They, they really have... It's just such a great rapport between the two, it, it just works. Their personalities clash brilliantly, and they question each other, and they give each other grief, and it's hilarious. Um, same with um, other people later in the game and things. It's just Vice is just volatile. Have a letter. Thank you. It's from the mayor of the seafront. Now we're off to the junk heap. Hooray! A thousand gold. That's okay. If you need money, try visiting the tavern. Yep, that's just, you know, standard quest stuff. That's cool! So, more importantly, we're off to the junk heap. Onwards. Now, junk heap we haven't seen yet, obviously. It's a different part of the world. Um, it's quite a cool way of getting up there, which I'll show you. Ooh, hello, what's that? Anyway, that was weird. Should we carry on? Um, we can't. It's making us go to the tavern first, is it? Fine. I believe we can ignore this, but just in case it decides to break the uh, continuity of the game, I better not. Occasionally, the ge this game does like to sort of say, Oh, you didn't do this first? Well, unfortunately, you have to go back and do it then. So, just to not take any chances, we'll pick up any side quest crap we need. Um, which is in the tavern. Which is here? No, wrong. There. To be fair, the tavern quest is quite fun. As you can see, many quests to be done. I'm just going through this quickly because it's just um, side quest stuff. I'll accept your quest, thank you. And I'll accept your quest too. Yep. This is to get Devil and Popola to sing together, uh, but we need a weird drink to do so. Hey, no need to be snarky. You want to hear us sing? Ha ha ha. Okay, well there you go. So, she's willing to do so. Um, I think I can talk to her one more time for saying actually. Hey. When you live in a place where the sun never sets, what difference does it make? <laughs> Let's go. Is there really nothing that can cure the Black Scroll? No medicine in the works of man can hope to stand against it. There has to be something. Perhaps a drug exists to temporarily ease the pain, but none can truly eradicate the disease. Damn it. But if the legend is true, then I hold the key to saving your girl. You're right. I have to hold on to that. That's the spirit. Let's go. Right. This is going to be a side quest, so um, anyone who doesn't want to see the side quest, you can just, I don't know, skip forward a few minutes. It's, it's on the way, but just to give you a warning. Side quest, it's not a bad side quest. It's one of the more what interesting ones. What do you know about this junk heap? It's 
filled with garbage and scrap from the old world. There's all kinds of machines in there that no one remembers how to use. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. In the old times, these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time. You certainly were wise back then. If they were so smart, why are they all dead? It's a fair point from there, though.